How do you know how much you cut off? There's so much wind here, it's gonna blow it everywhere. You know? Ah, I mean, this is gonna be bad news. I don't even know what cut. I can't even see, look. I gotta poke some holes in my... Like... Look. What do I got the saw for? So you don't get hair all over you. Well, if you don't care about it, take it off. Look. Ritz. Oh, this tore like, all to pieces. It's like Ace Ventura. Take it off. Birth. I'm giving birth. Take that off. I wish, Luke, I wish Travis was here. Look at me. Oh, my God. All right. I guess we're filming. All right. So, I tried to get my hair cut today. Mm -hmm. Great clips. So I went on the app, and I went on there, and they said, 27 minutes, you can get your hair cut. Okay. So I was over there, 27 minutes, walked in the door, sat down, and they said, oh, you got two in front of you. And they told me in the app, on the text, prior to over there, said, hey, we're waiting on you, come on. Walk in there, and I get two people in front of me. I didn't have time. I, I've tried that three times already, and it can't take me. I, one was an hour and a half wait. I said, I right, got five minutes. Every three minutes, something happens here. All right, so I'm cutting more hair. I'm t you know what I'm tired of? That it takes that much effort to get your hair cut. It's just, my God, I gotta learn how to do this. Well, maybe you can do it, man. You know we're gonna fight. I'm not gonna fight. I mean, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just cutting it, because I need it shorter than what it is. <laughs> Just let it fall and we'll get it off the floor. I don't even have a comb. I asked you if you had a comb. I don't know how to use a comb. Look at this. <laughs> well, it's getting shorter. Well, it is. I know I'm getting... I'm getting thinner. You know what? I'm getting shorter. I'm getting shorter. I couldn't believe it. I'm not 5'8 anymore. I know. I'm a little fellow. Mm -hmm. That happens to a lot of people. I don't want to carry too many logs or something. Was your dad seriously six foot tall? 5'11. Was he? Yeah. 5'11. And then before he died, he was 5'6. Five yeah, he, five he had went down. There's, there's a long one. Mm-hmm. Ace, your hair and my hair looks about the same. You know what? You should have got it cut at the groomers. <laughs> I should have went with you. <laughs> He's looking at you like, uh-huh, you're going through it now. All right. Look here. Hey, you know when you drop them in the salon, they throw them away. <laughs> they do not. Just revive you. <laughs> what? what? What's he doing, Ace? Look, your hair, my hair looks the same, Ace. It is the same color as Ace's. Look, it really is. I just don't know how to do that blending stuff. Well, we'll see what you do with it. Am I ambidextrous? <laughs> All right, now I can do the clippers. All right, let's try to do the clippers. Let's see what happens. Try it out. Now, what's that? Um, what's that called? That piece? A gauge? A gauge? What size is that? I don't know. It's got to get shorter than that, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. So, we build tiny homes. And we cut hair. So, is this called Incredible Clips? 
Cobalt clips. It's got to get a little bit shorter than that, doesn't it? I think so. Look at Ace. What do you think, babe? You know, I was working, I, actually, today, I was trying to get, never did go to the courthouse. I was going to ask you if you went to the courthouse. Oh, Lord. Well, we'll be sold Monday. <laughs> I need a Floby. <laughs> I don't know if we should put this on the internet, man. I mean, what's it got to do with tiny homes, you know? Well, the, we're building. It's busy. We're busy, and there's no time to even go get your hair cut. Yeah, what is that? Who cares? We mean, who cares? You, you know what? You're very offensive to our followers. They follow you. They follow us. They follow the company. And then you say, this is boring. Yeah, isn't? Nobody wants to see this. Tiny home stuff. They know? do. And we, we show them tiny home stuff. And they love everything. You're awful. Okay, it's, you. it's you. It's a, What is it they say when somebody breaks up with you? It's not you. It's me. <laughs> they just say that. How's that? It's Look getting our Yeah. Looking scary. No. Boy, everybody enjoyed uh, Donnie at the fabric place. Did they? Yeah. He was a, I mean, he was a side. I mean, he was a character, wasn't he? He was. Am I not getting any back there? It don't seem like it's, you need it to be chewing more. It's not cutting anything? Well, yeah, I mean, it I is, but there. not much. What's going on with it? Maybe it's clogged up. It is shorter on it. That's good on the side. Man, the hair is so thick. All you guys get your hair, you need your hair cut every two weeks. Oh, that did it, didn't it? There it goes. Now that's doing the deal. I can hear it. It's a chewing now. This is my Walmart clippers. What would we do without Walmart? And Amazon and all that. Oh, it's my guard messed up. It got shorter. That look terrible. No, I mean it looks shorter. Of course, it can get shorter. With remember that on Andy Griffith when when uh, Gomer kept saying, "Is she pretty?" They said, "Oh, she's nice. She's a nice girl." But is she pretty? Oh, so sweet. She's nice. And so, so his question never really got answered. <laughs> Is it shorter? Oh, yeah. Looks yeah, good. looks good. Looks good. Is it shorter? Look good. No, you said, does it look good? And I said, oh, yeah, it's short. It's shorter. <laughs> it doesn't look good. You're going to have to stop this video and we'll come back after I'm done. <laughs> it's going to look like a, like I've got a, the mange or something. <laughs> All right, we'll come back and see what, what you end up with. How's it look, Mandy? I think it looks pretty good. Final touches. I gotta, do, I gotta go do some style and put some gel in here. Did pretty good, didn't I? <laughs> she had to help me. You did good, Amanda. Look at that. That looks, I actually don't think that looks bad at all. Go, bad. Let's go wet it. Oh, it was getting it so thick and heavy. It has to feel so much better. Oh man, it's so hot outside. Like, then try ah! rip your shirt off. <laughs> Call them stripper shirts. <laughs> All right. See you the back's real here. short, and then put the top, put some little bit of gel in it, and just keep it buzzed up. Yeah. Well, what did it, I know who you're trying to look like? Who now? Matt. <laughs> Matt. Who's Matt? Outside. Oh, he's got a buzz cut. He's got. He's, he's got, got that, a crew cut. Yeah, a crew cut. Yeah. Military crew cut. He's awesome. All right. We are going to show some tiny homes. <laughs> Look, you know what's funny is Marianne clipped that bird this week, too. <laughs> Let's see here. Look. 
I mean, both the same, same color. It's the same color. <laughs> Let's go wet it. Awesome. Ah, thanks for tuning in. We just, you know what? I was sitting there thinking about all this. I don't have my microphone in, but I was. Oh, thinking, that's right. We got to get in. I was thinking about all this and how. <laughs> he knows we're about to go outside. He knows. Wanna, you know, buy a tiny home from us, right? Yeah. And I'm like. Here, put some of this. Well, wouldn't you want to buy a tiny home from somebody who's like super professional and has everything? What are you doing? Oh, I feel good. There you go. Uh, Don't that feel good? Yeah. Good deal. Ah. Uh, and like I was saying. <laughs> Do you want to be super professional? I'm, believe it or not, I try to be as professional as I possibly can. I want these homes to be built. God, it just drives me crazy. I want them to be built so, so beautiful and 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 right. And uh, why I, I want men to film everything we do here, like this and cutting hair and dogs and remember we used to do the skits Amanda yeah it was so silly I know doing skits of aliens and inspector and all that stuff but you know what to me tiny homes are are supposed to be fun you know I know they're very serious and people's they live in them mm -hmm. full time you know but they're super small you know and, mm -hmm. and I think tiny homes supposed to be like a like a playhouse or something you know yeah and uh so, anyway, I don't know why I do what I do. I don't know why we film what we film or show you guys everything we're doing. Um, I just have to. I just, I can't be like everybody else. I just want to show you, you know, if you don't, I guess they can turn it off. But, anyway, mm -hmm. I looked at just our room in there. And I looked at it and I told Tom, I said, Yikes. Tom. And, and the reason we got water bottles, we got tools, we've got ideas, we've got, and we got all this stuff, right, is because... We don't have really room enough for it. We don't have a, we don't have an inventory staff that can inventory everything. We got so many things going on that um, there's just not a place to put. And this is we're about to go through a transition. We're about to change this room. Big time. This is all coming coming apart. Um, let me give you an example. All right, we have we have about twenty. It's hard to believe with this off the staff, but out there and out there with our stucco guys, the ESPs inside, we probably got 15, 18 people working out there building homes along with our partnerships. Right, correct. Okay. So when a trader comes in and we're needing to, uh, the traders come in with no wheels, right? They're off. You got to put the wheels on. So they're dropped off. Who's going to put the wheels on? Right? Mm -hmm. You have a designated person. If we have all partnerships, <coughs> excuse me, they've got, <laughs> excuse me, they have to be, the wheels have to be put on, <coughs> put on the trailer. Who's going to do it? So we've got this real expensive drill here. It's an impact drill. This thing's really expensive. It has to have a drill. I mean, a battery, a charger. All this is in here. They and, ask for it every day. And we're trying to keep track of it. So a guy comes and gets it. No, we don't have a tool crib. And I don't have the money to pay a guy $35,000, $50,000 a year to sit in that tool crib, issuing out tools, signing them off, make sure they get back. So we give them out. That's the only thing we keep here. We buy stuff for tool, tools for guys, keep track of them. Do you understand how hard it is to write all serial numbers down? Check them all out. What's going on? The guys say the battery, this broke, ran over truck, this fell over that. And you got, you got a full-time person doing nothing but keep track of tools. Mm -hmm. That's why it's, it's endless the amount of things that go on here to try to build these homes. It's it's endless. All right, so we got the, we got this drill. We got another drill because we're anchoring our tuba twelves to put our new building up. We have that in here. Then we got, oh, we got... Uh, Jansen, hey, we need cleaners so we can clean our windows and clean our tiny homes before they leave out. All right, that came in today. Where do I put it? Well, we got a cabinet and it's got a key in it. Seth's out loading a truck. He's the only one with the key because there's things in there we don't want nobody to get or we're trying to keep safe, right? So they sit here till we can. We're overloaded because, you know, you got a, a vendor that came in. We got a call came in. We got a maintenance call came in. We got contracts to look at. We got questions on a blueprint. We got a guy, hey, forklift went down. We got to get a repair on a forklift. And that just saves <laughs> we have more time. 
you know, which mm -hmm. is now it's quitting time. Everybody's exhausted. We go home. We start again in the morning. As soon as we get here in the morning, and you can't get here any earlier because you you got to sleep. So we get here in the morning, and we got more stuff like these. Look at them, uh, the uh, cutters. Okay, these these have been sitting here because guys needed them. There's no place to put them right now. Real cool crib. I can come on. And I know when I'm telling you all this, there's a million people out there saying, well, you could do this, you could do that, you could do this, you could, and you could. You really could. We don't have the people to do it. You gotta designate people to do this, all of this stuff. We got Seth here, which has been keeping track of our inventory. We got uh, partnerships all over the place that need stuff put in their partnership, put it delivered to them. Are you, who are you, who are you looking at, that camera? Both. Both what? You and him. Oh, I can't. It looks like you're pointing it that way. I know. And uh, so just to give you an idea of all that goes on, plus, you know, just look at all the bills. This is what we have going on, and this is not a third of what we have. Right. Mm-hmm. This is what we got coming up. This is what we're trying to do. And then you got people, you know, everybody's wanting their house yesterday. I, my phone rings constantly. Where's my house? What's going on? What are you doing? How's this? What's going on? And, in, it, and you can't, if you're answering texts and you're talking to a, uh, um, a customer or you've got maintenances, then I've got people that I'm looking to hiring. I've got a, um, another person I'm thinking of looking to hiring. I've got the next homes build up. I've got an investor we got to build homes for. I've got a list that I'm building a house for. Here's Paula's list. Hey, remember, remember, I need this and this and that. And when that list starts growing, not just hers, anybody's, starts growing, um, we're, we're going to keep that stuff. We're going to physically put it. See, and I'm just painting everybody a picture of this business and the the amount of energy and forethought it takes. Like right where Amanda is, right though, those are anchors that we go to anchor down our 2 by 12s to set our trusses so we can add another 100 foot to this building. Mm -hmm. We don't have time to build another 100 foot to this building. Lord, no. But we have to stop to do it so we can get in the drive before the we winter We have comes. to, yeah. And we got to build 20 more trusses so we can get another mm -hmm. 100 feet to get the materials in the drive, you know? And that's more money, more time on top of these people needing their homes yesterday, you know? And it's, uh, it's a challenge. It's a, it, and I need my haircut. But you know what? None of this really uh, is overwhelming to me personally, really. I, I see it. I'm glad we're having it. I love that the business has grown this much. I love that we have this much interest in our in our what we do. <laughs> it's, it's a challenge. exciting to know how we can put all this and make it work. And we will. We won't stop. We're not going to stop doing what we're doing. We love what we're doing. But to paint a picture for you all, all that it takes to make all this happen behind the scenes. Um, we have a book out. We don't have a book. We have a, a lady who built a tiny home in a workshop that we had at our old Inca plant. You guys Well, her and her husband. Her and her husband. It was, okay, we've been here October in three, three years. years. So prior to that, we had a, another factory. It was the size of all this concrete under one roof. Mm -hmm. It's 200,000 square feet. <laughs> And it used to leak and rain real bad out there. But we had a workshop where people would stay in a bunk room, build their own house, and we tried to get it done in six days. It was an absolute success. It was an ex absolute failure. It was uh, it was everything imaginable. Everything in one. It was everything, right? Um, there were people that hated me more than they hated, they hated the devil. And then there was people that loved me more than they... And then there was people that... that um, walked away thinking they did it all themselves when we built the whole house themselves you know um but this is a book from one of the people that built their house her and her husband in the workshop in a workshop and so what we would do is we would they would contact us like they wanted to buy a house they wanted to come and build their house so we actually had people come they'd stay in a bunk room but beforehand we would do a full set of blueprints like we do right now we would order all the materials, everything it took. We would do all that. So we would order the nuts, the bolts, the screws, the wood, the metal. Everything was there like we do a partnership. Mm -hmm. And we set it up on a shelf, everything. And then when they showed up, all they had to do was eat and work and sleep. Mm -hmm. Eat, work, and sleep. That's all they had. And we had supervisors 
that would tell them exactly what they needed to know. They didn't need to try to figure it out. All they had to do was do what they said was to be done. And that was it. And it worked. It was a lot of work, a lot of hard work. And um, this person here is, uh, you guys might know her, some, some people. I gotta get this. Okay. All right. 